Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to our channel where we keep you posted with all things trending. Today we're shining a spotlight on the talented Noah Schnapp from Stranger Things and trust me, it's been quite the talk of the town. If you have been scrolling down through your socials, you've probably seen Noah's name popping up everywhere. So what's the scoop? Well, Noah recently shared some thoughts on the Israel-Hamas situation that stirred up quite a discussion. In a post that's now taken down, he expressed a strong stance saying you either support one side or the other. It sparked a wave of reactions with many feeling it missed the mark on sensitivity. Now fast forward to January 16, 2024, Noah took to TikTok to share an apology. He mentioned that his views were misunderstood and emphasized the desire for peace and understanding, having learned from his friends. But spoiler alert, things didn't exactly go as planned. The online world had its own thoughts, with some questioning the sincerity of the apology and even speculating about external pressures. But hey, we've got all the details for you. In just a moment, we're going to play Noah's apology video and that's not all. Stick around because we'll also be diving into social media stitches to see what everyone's saying about this whole situation. It's a roller coaster of opinions and we've got your front row seat. So hit the like button, grab your snacks and let's jump into the Noah Schnapp saga. Hey guys, it's Noah. I just wanted to come on here super briefly just to discuss everything that's been going on online. I feel like my thoughts and beliefs have been so far misconstrued from anything even close to what I believe. And I wanted to just state from my heart how I feel. I only want peace and safety and security for all innocent people affected by this conflict. I've had many open discussions with friends from Palestinian background, and I think those are very important conversations to have, and I've learned a lot, and one of the takeaways I've had is that we all hope for the same things, that being those innocent people still being held hostage in Gaza to be returned to their families and equally hope for an end to the innocent life in Palestine. So many of those people being women and children, and it's horrible to see. And I think anyone with any ounce of humanity would hope for an end to the hostility on both sides. I stand against any of any innocent people and i hope you guys all do too and i just hope to one day see those two groups be able to live harmoniously together in that region and i hope for 2024 online to see people be a little more understanding and compassionate and recognize that we're all human regardless of our race of our ethnicity of our background of our country of birth of our even our solidity of anything we are all human and we're all the same and we should all love each other for that and support each other and stand together and stand together for humanity and for peace. Now, wasn't that something? Noah Schnapp opening up and sharing his thoughts. But hold on your hats, folks, because we've got more to uncover. Stick around until the end because we are about to dive into the social media stitches, the raw unfiltered reactions from people just like you. Get ready for a roller coaster ride of opinions and stay tuned for the intriguing breakdown we've got coming your way right after the stitches it's about to get real interesting so hit that subscribe button and let's keep this discussion going so just as the new season of stranger things starts filming noah schnapp has decided to release this absolutely pointless response video to the criticism that he has been receiving where he tries to worm out of it by playing this whole both sides idea by saying he just wants peace and that what he meant about israel has been completely misconstrued but Noah, we all remember what you said. We know what you are and what you are like. Them is an indefensible ideology that is premised on the dispossession of the Palestinians. And you let the whole world know that you think that as Israel carried out against the Palestinian people, you decided to use your platform to make statements like you either stand with Israel or you stand with to millions of young impressionable fans who know that you are a Jewish person and therefore they are quite likely to listen to you because they're probably not going to understand Israel or Palestine. This man could not care less about Palestinians. He has simply realized that overtly so Supported in Palestine is no longer tenable for his career and so has made the clever decision to pretend to care about Palestinians. But when you have never once spoken about the fact that Israel is an a you went there and said it was your happy place and you have never once spoken about 
You are not an ally. You are simply someone who wants to preserve the settler colonial privileges that Israelis enjoy at the expense of the Palestinian people. There is only one way for actually apologize for what they've done, and that's to completely abandon them. There is literally no other option. So no, regardless of what Noah is droning on about in his video, this is nothing more than him caring about his own optics and his personal image. It is far too early to deal with this. Noah Schnapp made this TikTok at like four o'clock in the morning because we already know he's on set for Stranger Things final season. It's basically less than two minutes. of He's doing what my mutual culture work would describe as an acknowledge because Netflix says he has to make a statement because pretty much half of the world is boycotting the show because he's still hired. Let's get into the first part. You said that your thoughts and beliefs were being misconstrued. Bro, you reposted it from one of your friends at your school saying that you either side with Israel or side with saying that you hope one day that these two groups are able to live harmoniously together in the region. Really? Really? You're going to keep calling this a conflict? Say that you spoke to people with Palestinian background and you say they want the same things. I went to his feed on Instagram to see if that's still there. It's just been taken off or it's been privated, meaning that Netflix made him do this because they started back production this week and nobody is watching that show because of him and Brett Gilman. I hope never gets hired in Hollywood ever again because the world is shifting. The view is shifting. People are becoming more pro-Palestine and want to see Israel accountable for their crimes. And anybody that supported them in the hundred plus days of this is going to get their karma. And so will if I give my thoughts on this guy or even describe why people are mad. My channel will get taken down. So all I can say is since he disabled his comments, one way you can show Noah what you think of his apology is to not watch Stranger Things. The only reason he made this video is because Netflix is desperate for you to watch it and to make anyone who would have felt guilty watching it before maybe be okay with watching it now. They're desperate for you to not only watch it, but to like it and talk about it on Twitter and buy their merchandise and watch their celebrity interviews and keep it culturally relevant forever, even if it's ironic and you hate watching it. But if you do none of that, I guarantee you Noah Schnapp is gonna regret his disgusting rhetoric and dumb stickers when he makes that awkward phone call to his agent trying to book more roles because Noah Schnapp just like Z that's why I had to wait till nighttime to talk about it Noah Schnapp you can't misconstrue nothing that's in 4k every action in which you did that was slander against Palestine was in 4k you can't misconstrue that. You can't mess up that. Noah Schnapp made an apology video? An apology video? Yeah, clout is a major drug. Like, literally two months ago, he was saying that Zion, now he's walking it back. And it's kind of coincidental that he's making this apology video, apology video, right? Right when they're starting to shoot Stranger Things Season 5. It's almost like some of his co-stars got in his ear and said, hey, they're starting to, and we're starting to get negative attention, and we're starting to lose supporters. So I'm gonna need your twin to get behind that camera and make a, an apology video so we can look better. Unfortunately, people with actual non-hive minds don't forget about just a few months ago. And you can't just get your clout back by making an apology video. Ask any YouTuber. So pack it up, buddy. Get ready for Stranger Things to tank and get ready for your career to tank. Not like you're getting any bookings anyway. I mean, you don't really got much to offer before this. But just a lesson to the rest of y'all, bullying does work when it's directed towards the right people. And obviously with the right motivations. He is, he should be punished for having that ideology, but not only having the ideology, but also making prop of the ideology, making it seem like it's okay to steal their land. No, it is not. Netflix forcing Noah Schnapp to make an apology so people will watch Stranger Things is so funny. If we can get Netflix shaking in their boots, they know are working, okay? Don't stop with these pro-Palestine boycotts. Like, Netflix are the guy who added a bunch of, like, restrictions for, like, households. You can't watch it in different locations. Knowing full well that people are just gonna unsubscribe because of why the fuck. Like, we have figured out a way to protest that has these companies shaking in their boots. Like, McDonald's? The McDonald's CEO, like, playing victim? Hilarious, dude. Or even just the amount of people who have changed their minds about Palestine. 
Just keep boycotting and spreading information. Noah Schnapp just put out an apology video for everything he said about Palestine in the last three months. And I want to speak about this as someone whose mother and entire family survived the camp. I think people can become more informed or educated about a topic and essentially do better. But this is a lot different than giving some kind of unfortunate or offensive joke back in middle school or high school. This is to talk about that he made this video one week into the production of Stranger Things. And there isn't really any accountability or apology here. He just says, we all want the same thing and I've been more informed. And we do not want the same thing. You cannot speak about the formal formation of the country that is Israel without speaking about the displacement of Palestinian people, whether you're talking about that back in 1948 or all the displacement that's taken place since because of settler colonialism. I'll take any kind of pushback for this. I think it's completely different if you're a celebrity who shared a f and now you're sharing free Palestine, you're sharing resources, you're going to marches, you're keeping people informed. That is a very different kind of situation than what's happening with Noah Schnapp right now. And I'll be perfectly honest, Noah, if you see this video, I hope you do a lot of work on yourself. I hope you do a lot to kind of reevaluate everything that you shared. I hope that you take some form of accountability. Alright folks, let's take a moment to get to know the man behind the controversy, Noah Schnapp. Now, if you are a fan of Stranger Things like many of us here, you've probably watched Noah grow up on screen. Born on October 3rd, 2004 in Scarsdale, New York, this talented actor started making waves in Hollywood at a young age. Noah's journey began when he landed the role of Will Byers in Stranger Things, and boy did he steal our hearts right from the start. His portrayal of the young boy caught in the supernatural events of Hawkins, Indiana, showcased not only his acting prowess, but also his ability to connect with audiences on a deep level. But let's not forget, Noah is not just a one-hit wonder. He's ventured into voice acting, lending his voice to the character of Charlie Brown in the Peanuts movie. And hey, he's no stranger to the red carpet either, making stylish appearances that have left us all in awe. Now, why does this matter? Well, it's crucial to understand that behind the character of Will Byers is a real person with his own thoughts, beliefs, and experiences. As we unravel the recent events surrounding Noah, remember that he's not just a face on the screen, he's a young man navigating the complexities of the world, just like many of us. So as we delve into the social media breakdown, Let's keep in mind the person Noah Schnapp is beyond the Stranger Things set. Stick around as we delve into the breakdown. We're gonna explore the nuances of the situation and try to make sense of it all. This is more than just headlines. It's a chance for us to reflect and understand the human side of the story. So grab a seat and let's get into it. Now, let's chat about something that often sparks curiosity. Noah Schnapp's beliefs and religious views. You see, beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Noah has been open about his faith. Born in to a Jewish family. He has embraced and celebrated his Jewish heritage. In interviews and social media posts, Noah has occasionally shared glimpses of his religious practices, such as celebrating Jewish holidays and traditions. It's a reminder that like many of us, he finds comfort, connection, and identity in his beliefs. However, it is essential to note that a person's beliefs can evolve and be multifaceted. While Noah's faith has been a part of his identity, Recent events have brought attention to the complexities that come with sharing one's views, especially on sensitive topics. So as we navigate through the breakdown ahead, let's keep in mind that understanding someone's beliefs requires nuance and empathy. Stick around, because we're about to unpack more layers of this story, exploring the intersection of fame, personal beliefs, and the challenges of navigating a public platform. It's about to get intriguing, so stay tuned. We're about to dive deep into the social media sea and see what people are saying about Noah Schnapp's recent roller coaster. The internet, true to form, has had shortage of opinions. Let's break it down. First off, when Noah expressed his previous stance on the Israel Hamas conflict, the digital world erupted. Some accused him of being anti Palestinian, claiming he was insensitive to the suffering in Gaza. Others argued he was blindly supporting Israel, turning a blind eye to human rights violations committed by its government. And wait, there is more accusations of spreading propaganda and misinformation about Hamas and the situation in Gaza. Also flooded the comment sections. Calls for boycotting Stranger Things or even Noah's removal from the show became a trending hashtag. Fast forward to Noah's apology video. Oh boy, did that stare the pot. People jumped into their opinions faster than you can hit the like button. Many argued that his apology was nothing but a career saving move, calling it insincere and pointing out that he didn't address the root causes of the conflict. Some even speculated he was coerced by Netflix or his management to apologize, turning the apology into a PR strategy. And of course, there were those who felt he still didn't grasp the Palestinian perspective or the complex history of the region. But hold on, not everyone was throwing shade. 
Some voices in the digital crowd championed Noah for admitting his mistakes and taking the opportunity to learn from them. They argued that forgiveness and respect were due for someone who demonstrated personal growth. What does this mean? The digital battlefield is a complex space where opinions clash and nuance often takes a backseat. As we navigate through these perspectives, it is essential to recognize the diversity of voices and consider the myriad factors at play. This isn't just drama. It is a chance for us to reflect on the dynamics of our accountability and forgiveness and the challenging journey of navigating personal beliefs in the public eye. Now let's break down Andy's passionate take on Noah's TikTok apology. Alright, let's break down Andy's passionate take on Noah's TikTok apology. She's not holding back and her perspective is as fiery as a dragon. First off, Andy throws shade on the timing of Noah's TikTok, claiming it was posted at the ungodly hour of 4 a.m. in the morning. She suggests it's more of a forced move, dubbing it an acknowledge rather than a genuine apology. Why? Well, according to Andy, Netflix is pulling the strings, nudging Noah to make a statement because, as she puts it, half the world is boycotting him. Now onto the core issue. Auntie isn't buying Noah's claim that his thoughts and beliefs were misunderstood. She goes straight to the evidence highlighting Noah's reposting of a controversial post, supporting Israel and labeling it as misunderstood. She delves into the routine post about a certain perspective, criticizing Noah for sharing a particular sticker. Auntie is not having any of the shift from one viewpoint to a natural stance, calling it out as a slick move. And hold on, she's not done. Auntie questions whether Noah actually spoke to people with different perspectives, claiming he's playing the we all want the same thing card. She even goes detective on Noah's Instagram, checking if the controversial post is still there. According to Auntie, if it's gone or private, it's Netflix stepping in because let's face it, nobody's watching Stranger Things because of him and his co-star. Ouch. And finally, Auntie pulls out the crystal ball, predicting a change in viewership and a call for consequences for anyone supporting a particular viewpoint in these 100 plus days of this. She wraps up with a stern warning that Noah's career might face some bumps. And there you have it folks, the digital world is buzzing with diverse opinions on Noah Schnapp's journey, from fiery reactions to thoughtful insights. The online community has spoken. As we wrap up, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more engaging content, and share your thoughts in the comments below. This is just the beginning of the discussion, and who knows what twists the online world has in store for us next. Stay tuned, stay curious, and until next time, take care.